Hello Model Railroaders, John back with the 16 by 8 River layout. Um, I'm just kind of going to give you a little tiny mini update on what I'm doing. The, I haven't done a lot of cosmetic type work that you would really notice. Uh, what I did do is my backdrop now has been uh, permanently affixed to the wall. It's stuck down. It was vinyl. I think I mentioned that in my other videos. And I did change some of it. It's, it if you look at my videos, even from two months ago, you'll see the bumps and stuff. Uh, some of these are higher up yet, especially this size side. I raise this stuff up about three, three to four inches. So and then I change the shape. So I know some of it looks a little repetitive, but that's just what it is. I'm not going to worry about that. So um, I've got a little bit more I want to do yet with it, but... For the most part, it's what you're seeing is the way it's going to be. So, um, and then as far as uh, track, I guess so I got to paint some track on this side, ballast the entire thing, which isn't a lot. That'll happen over the, uh, the come fall. I'll probably work on that. Unless I get bored during the middle of the summer, we don't have nothing else to do. That could happen, but I doubt it. So what I am planning on doing is I've got to make some how-to videos. I owe one to a guy to how I make my little cheapy clouds. And that's got to be number one. I've been I'm way, way behind on getting that video out for this guy. So and I apologize. i do not really sure who he was, but he does send me a message from time to time. So I'm just telling him, if, if you're watching this, it will happen pretty soon. So I was going to do you even do it today, but it's extremely windy outside. So, but other than that, my main thing I'm working on this summer is going to be uh, getting better with the 3D printing. I, did, I uploaded a video, which you may see before or after this video. I can't remember how, which one, what order I'm doing these in. And that will kind of shows you what I'm doing with the 3D stuff. It's all basically related to the railroad stuff. Um, and my ship model building. So that's kind of my purpose for doing those, doing that kind of thing. I'm just kind of walking around, uh, letting you see random views of the layout. So, but uh, the 3D stuff, I, I plan to be printing a lot of train parts and cars. Um, and I'm not going to get into details right now about doing that. You watch that video and it'll talk about how that some of that's done and how it's not as easy as people make it look, and it certainly isn't. So, but uh, I plan to do that and make parts, bridges, buildings, and so on. My layout that, or the part that's in the family room where the train's out there right now running, uh, where I have that little mini yard, that part there is got mostly trees, except on the one very end, it's got the little tiny town. I do plan to expand on that whole area out there with buildings. That's gonna be my building area. <coughs> Excuse me, and I do. Uh, I, I just wanted to decide I didn't want to have a little bit of building uh, buildings and stuff like that to display. I know I've got the lower part of my layout down there where I've got a lot of stuff displayed, but that's not what I'm referring to. I just want to have stuff that's going to be functional where I will put lights and things inside of it so I can have it on when we have guests over. So, other than that. Um, that's kind of my plan for right now to do some of that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, just another note I was going to mention, uh, when I, I do a lot of shorts, you guys, if you subscribe or watch my channel a lot, you would see I do quite a few uh, video shorts. I love doing them. They're fast, they're easy, and you know, probably notice I put up a ton of them. And many look repetitive, I understand that, and they, they will still stay that will probably stay that way. Um, I have to keep up a certain amount of videos to maintain the channel uh, for monetization. So that's why I kind of do that. So I will always keep putting those up. And I do run a, a quite a variety of trains. I get people commenting on how I'm running the wrong thing with wrong engine, wrong cars, wrong cars with the wrong engine, whatever. I understand, I don't know, I'm not really knowledgeable on all that kind of stuff, but I run all my engines. I, I use every single one I got. I got two, only two or three boxed. And other than that, everything I have, I like to run. I just, otherwise why have it? So that's my thinking. So all that stuff I do use, 
and I will be intermixing it with all different kinds of cars. Now I try not to run, I wouldn't run a steam engine with a modern uh, grain car or uh, automobile hauler or something like that. I understand that kind of stuff. But uh, for the most part, I am not super knowledgeable on what cars ran with what trains. All I know is I grew up in the era where uh, Chicago Northwestern and Great Northern, Burlington Northern was really dominant in my young life. So uh, I think the last of them was probably uh, Burlington Northern and uh, Chicago Northwestern. I mean, we actually had a big um, yard here for Chicago Northwestern, uh, not far from where I live. So we had, saw a lot of these trains regularly. And believe it or not, I even saw, uh, growing up in the 90s, I saw would see some of these uh, um, F units parked over there. I don't know if they were using them, or, but they sat in the same spot. But I'd see them from time to time. Uh, I understand from one of the people we know that who uh, worked there, he said they would, uh, Chicago Northwestern was one of the only railroads that really used their own uh, trains. They did not like to uh, rent power from anyone else. That's what he had told me. I don't know how truthful it is, but that's what he said. So they intermix any kind of engine they could just to get power. So, but that's what my point is. I am going to be just switching things out. And it's not, I'm not doing it because it's right or wrong. Uh, that they did it or did not do it. I do it just so there, there's a variety. Um, I I know a lot of times passenger trains, like this would be considered more of an excursion. Like you would go on a weekend and take an hour ride. We, me and my wife do that a lot in the fall. We we take probably four or five train rides. And I've seen about every combination of uh, passenger cars with engines. And they're all different uh, roads of the passenger cars cars and uh, different engines. And so it's just kind of whatever it is. So, but uh, other than that, uh, I don't have a whole heck of a lot else to say, uh, That except that I'm kind of a little bit on hold because of the summer here now, and I want to be outside after being stuck in a house all winter. So kind of for now, this is really all I've got. And stay tuned to watch some of the how-to videos. I will still be doing some of those, and I'm gonna be also doing some uh, uh, videos on making dioramas. I like to do that in my spare time, because I can make one of those in a weekend. It's not a big deal. And also I do have my N-scale trains that I still would like to do uh, a little layout, permanent, permanent portable layout, one I can take around with me if I go some, to someone's house. So I am gonna probably do something like that and that's what I'm using my 3D printer for, is making components for that. So that's one of the other things I would use it for. So with that being said, that's all I got. Uh, that's kind of the uh, recap of what's going on. And just watch my uh, shorts and some of them little how-tos and a couple of the diorama videos if I, uh, as I put them up there. And I don't know how often that will be. Might not be a ton, of them this summer but we'll see what we come up with and then always feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions on how to do something or if you see something here you want to know how i did it or you want to tell me it's wrong or right or whatever or, you know just let me know i don't i don't get mad at people uh for telling me things like that because i learned too everything you see here i saw it somewhere on youtube or at some train show and how to do it i'm not the inventor of a lot of this stuff so are the create the one who came up with the creation first. So most of this stuff is stuff I learned myself. And a lot of practice, and I mean a lot of practice. I've been doing this 25 years or so. So, Anyways, that's all I got. Uh, like I say, send me a message or leave a comment if you want, whatever works, and uh, I will hopefully make a video soon for you guys to watch. Thanks.